Might Guy versus Pain. Who would win in this episode of Battle of Legends? First appearing in Naruto manga chapter number 38 during the tuning exams arc, Might Guy, also known as the Green Beast of Konoha, is a Jonin Taijutsu master and infamous user of the eight inner gates. Recognizable for his odd shiny bowl haircut, bushy eyebrows, and green jumpsuit, Mike Guy lives his life through the power of youth, which basically embodies enthusiastically seeking to live up to his promises, no matter the personal investment doing so will require of him. Also, Mike Guy's appearance and personality were even said to be modeled off the martial artist Bruce Lee. Now lastly, as eccentric and comical as Guy is throughout the series, and even though he lacks skill in both ninjutsu and genjutsu, he makes up for it with his taijutsu mastery which undoubtedly makes him the strongest Taijutsu user in the entirety of the Naruto universe, or a contender at least. Pain aka Nagato was first introduced in the Naruto manga chapter number 372 during the Jiraiya the Gallant arc. He is a shinobi of the small village hidden in the rain, descendant of the Uzumaki clan and student of the legendary Sanin Jiraiya. Known for his godly like power and use of the Renengan six paths of pain technique, Nagato ruled over the hidden rain village and for a period the Akatsuki. As a descendant of the Uzumaki clan, his chakra reserves were vast, even enough that he could perform various chakra techniques techniques all in the same day. He is also responsible for the complete destruction of Konoha during his attempt to capture the Nine Tails. Plus, Nagato also had great disdain for Konoha, believing that their success was predicated on the misfortunes of others. Despite the number of changes that Nagato went through during his life, he still at the end of the day remained kind and respectful to a degree. Alright, so Mike Guy versus Pain. Who would win in a battle to the death? Now I'm gonna give the situation that makes the most sense. I want you guys to basically think about what if Guy was there when Pain attacked the Heaven Leaf Village? What how would this fight go down? This is a battle to the death because that's what's at stake. Also, this battle would be in character. These characters are not just going to be killing machines. You actually have to think about the characters are only going to do things that the characters themselves would do in the show. Like, they're in character. So, think about that. Alright, so when you put a fight between Guy and Pain, it has a lot of different factors that you have to take into consideration. The most common thing people are going to say in the comments, off the top of my head, I already know people are going to say, Oh! Guy could go 7th or even 8th gate and take out all the 6 pains at once. Guy is doing this so easily. It's not that simple. In order to effectively defeat Pain, you have to understand the techniques that they use. Plus, Guy would have to defeat Nagato, the one controlling all the pains from a nearby remote lo hidden location, after he defeats all the paths through, assumably, opening the gates. And you have to think about it. Once Guy starts opening the gates, he's only going to start going up because the intensity of the battle is going up as he releases, as he opens the gate. So bringing that technique up, there's a down point to that technique. Once it wears off, that's basically an instant loss. You go to a useless state after you fall out of the eight gate. All right, so when I break the battle down, how it pretty much go down and the whole analytical process of it. So... Guy, he has six opponents basically, and they all have shared vision. They all are gonna attack you at once. You can't expect them just to do, do the 1v1 option. Guy is Taijutsu. He's faster than all the pains. I give him that. He has great strong fist technique, which would very much help him disable the pains. But you have to understand that he is fighting six of them at the same time. So the main paths that are gonna pose a problem to guys slash the ones that are really fighting Guy is the animal path the asura path and the deva path so those are the main kind of attacking type paths all the other ones are really gonna be basically not really in the battle that much except for just the fact of having those extra men to overwhelm guy so at the same time they can all attack at once because they're still capable of just doing hand to hand with guy or whatever they want to do they still have the black receivers that they can fight with and disrupt chakra with so i mean they all capable opponents but the ones that are basically going to head this battle are the deva asura asura and the animal path off the gate, I can already tell the animal path is just going to start summoning all these animals, especially the chameleon, the bird, 
to basically overwhelm guy in the beginning of the fight that's usually how pain fights too he summons the animal path does an all-out attack and even the the dogs that pain has they multiply when they get hit so it's just an endless wrath of dogs so all this automatic off that guys to to be able to fight all of them because it's not just going to be the animal path attacking like you got to think about it he's going to have that plus all the other paths so he's going to have to bump up to start opening gates he's going to analyze the situation and know that he has to start opening gates in order to keep up and increase speed and power in order to take all these dudes all at one time so at the same time where those animals are attacking him he's definitely gonna have the asura path shooting missiles and fucking mechanical shit all over the fucking battlefield while he's doing that so i can see guy opening more of the gates very early in the battle just because you're gonna get overwhelmed if you don't i can already see him going up to the sixth seventh gate very early just because he's facing six dudes so basically as soon as guy opens up those gates he's basically on the path to burn out he's basically on a timer after that because the gates don't last forever it rarely hurts your body to use the opening of the gates so pain is controlling this battle from the very start just because he has the number and basically has the overwhelming capability so he opens the seventh gate let's presume he's taken out the human path he's taking out the Prada path and he's taking out the naraka path so that's basically the three of them that are kind of defensive they're already going to be taken out just because pain values different paths in different battles so he knows in a battle against guy those paths are not going to really be doing anything so he's going to sacrifice them in order to keep around the asura deva and animal pad because he knows those are the ones that are going to be putting in the most work so off the bat it's going to be three paths versus guy once he opens the gates so after he opens the gates i can see him taking out the last path to go is definitely going to be the deva path because that's generally the, the path that lasts the longest and is the strongest so he's going to have to deal i can see him taking out the asura path next because is basically guy has enough strength to basically decommission the asura path but the animal path is definitely going to be tricky because he has the mobility and he has the ability to hide with the chameleon summon so guy is not really finding the animal path if pain decides to hide which is a good possibility and he's facing the deva path which has almighty push universal pull uh planetary devastation you got all that shit so it's all a matter of reaction time because guy is fast enough to where pain if he can react fast enough to um, almighty push the thing is pain will see guys chakra forming up like he see his chakra system he will see when guy is opening up the gates and he will know when guy is getting ready to attack so he can basically pre-ready or almighty push or any type of technique that's going to let him get the advantage because he knows guy is faster than him so i can see almighty push being a problem but even though almighty push has been overwhelmed in qb mode naruto like i think it was seven tails i think went through almighty push so there's no doubt that that seventh gate guy is going through almighty push if he wants to because that's just how it's gonna go like if he wants to i'm pretty sure he ha he has enough push to get through that because the dude has to react fast enough he can he has a five second interval between the times he can use the technique so it's basically going down like that while you still have the animal pad looming in the background so guy he might end up going eight gates considering that i can see him using the evening elephant to take out the deva path considering that almighty push and all that other shit is it's nothing to play with man like but at the same time i can see him over outspeeding all the paths and taking them down with pure taijutsu and ending it before he can start using like uh almighty push and planetary devastation if he goes eight gates the battle really this is the two outcomes when he goes eight gates he takes out deva path because guy he literally bends space time when he goes eight gates so i mean there's no keeping up with him there's no keeping up with him so he takes out 
the Deva path, and then if he's fast enough to to basically get a hold of the animal path, he takes out the animal path. But at the same time, the person in charge of all the pains, Nagato, he's a smart guy. He's a genius. So he's gonna hide the animal path within the chameleon that you can't sense and is invisible and wait till guy burns out of eight gate out of the eight gate so guy is a short time span where he has access to to all that power before he's his body burns out so it's really not gonna be in guy's favor considering he's not in control of the battle because pain is forcing him to open the gates just in order to combat the techniques that he has so it's really a rush for guy and it's really a, a a situation that pain has under control and he's basically controlling the flow of the battle so i can't not see guy can't see guy winning this fight and i'm gonna break it down to the different categories now that we're coming down to like the final decision so all right so i'm gonna bring up some categories so speed might guy trumps pain intelligence that's on pain jutsu definitely on pain stamina slash chakra that's on pain the uzumaki descendant he just has insane amounts of chakra plus he has the renegon that's pain feats it's on pain again like pain destroyed the entire leaf village with one attack he killed jiraiya he killed hanzo like feats goes to pain and then if you add that up overall it's on pain with my guy having one and pain having four so, I mean, the battle will really be very interesting and very flashy. And, but it all comes down to Guy being rushed into the situation that, be, it all comes down to Guy being in Payne's flow of the battle. So, Guy's losing this battle, man. Tell me what you guys think. Once Guy defeats Pain, Nagato is still there. You can go eight gates and basically decimate all the paths, but you will burn out before you find Nagato. You don't even you don't even know where Nagato is, man. You're burning out. Or Pain could hide the animal path while you run around with eight gates activated and basically let you burn out while he's just sitting there in a the cut with a chameleon hidden. And then once you're down to a point to where you're just Guy, he doesn't even have to fight him after that because guy automatically dies after he after he opens all the gates so animal path comes out sits there and it's like well that's the end of the battle or he could just deal the finishing blow once guy is sitting there burning to a crisp so that's the verdict when my guy fights pain if guy was in the village when he attacked leave you what you guys think down in the comments below definitely vote on the poll at the end of the video do you still agree with me this is just my opinion i have pretty good judgment when it comes to stuff like that i did a lot of research watched a lot of film and this is what i the decision that i've come to thank you guys for watching if you're interested in any other episodes of battle of legends be sure to check them out and it's been your boy anime analyst the young jiggy ninja i'm out of here peace